Hey guys, it's Robin from Apex Barbell here. Today we are going to talk about five of the best accessories to help improve your squat. Of course, the best way for you to get better at something is to practice. So if you aren't squatting consistently, then that is the first step before adding any auxiliary movements. But for those of you who are trying to take your squat to the next level, try some of these out. These are in no particular order and the degree of benefit all depends on your personal pitfalls within your squat. Okay, so first up, we have the pause squat. If you're going to fail a squat, it will most likely be at the bottom of the squat, commonly referred to as in the hole. That is because it is naturally the weakest position in the squat movement. And it is super easy to lose all the tension and brace you have at the beginning of a squat. A pause squat is simply pausing at the bottom for a second or two, focusing on staying tight, keeping your brace, and being below depth before coming up from your squat. For this reason, it is also a great exercise for someone who doesn't hit depth consistently as it helps maintain positional awareness at the bottom. Up next, we have the tempo squat. In simple terms, it's just slowing your squat down, normally on the way down, aka the eccentric phase. So instead of just flying down to the bottom of your squat, you would slow it down for let's say four seconds. This will help with depth awareness, just like a pause squat, but will also help with positional awareness and the ability to stay tight and braced throughout the whole movement. This variation is also incredible for building balance during a squat if you are one of those people that tend to shift from your heels to your toes. Going slow will also teach you not to dive bomb to the bottom of your squat too fast. Up next, we have the front foot elevated split squats, also known as FFE split squat. This variation involves elevating your front foot. You can use blocks or bumper plates as long as it is a few inches off the floor and stable. This exercise comes with an array of benefits, including lateral stability and increased mobility in your ankles, knees, and hips, as well as increasing your comfort with tracking your knees over your toes as you squat. This, along with all the other benefits of a regular split squat, make this variation a great staple in someone's squat program. The SSB squat involves a special kind of bar. The SSB bar is like a barbell, but it has handles and a pad that go over top your shoulders to allow you to hold on from the front. This variation is great for beginners who are not yet confident to hold on to a barbell, as well as advanced lifter. The SSB squat is great for strengthening your quads and hip flexors, as well as improving upper back and core stability throughout the squat. It also has the added benefit of giving your shoulders and elbows a bit of a break, especially those of us who are less gifted in the mobility department. The reverse squat is actually a core movement, despite what the name would imply. To perform this movement, simply wrap a band around something stable or use a cable machine and put your feet in the handles. Now just raise your knees and feet as you were simulating a squat. This may seem silly, but it'll really help you recruit and use your abs, especially your lower ones, during your brace and help improve overall stability of your squat. That's all for today, guys. Please give these a try and let me know how they felt or if they helped at all. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you liked any of this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps us make more content in the future.